Ready? Yeah, it was ready. Come on now. Hey, YouTube. What's yeah. up? This yeah. is your. <laughs> Not we were supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to say hey. Oh, it's your first. It's your first. Sorry, sorry. I had to Are you doing your No, no, no. This is all you see. Places, 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 places. We've never been there too long. Sorry. Yeah. Ready? 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 Damn. No, no, no. It was like tilted. It looked tilted over here. Look. My bad. You know I'm nutty sometimes. I'll be not putting it down. I got this. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ella Esco. Today, I have some special guests. Yeah, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. And then we're going to do a fun video. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is just a way for y'all to get to know me more. So, stay tuned. What's good? I'm Ron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I do <laughs> <laughs> no, I turned around and Rashad, Rashad was like, <laughs> like he was on the news. <laughs> no, Rashad, Rashad looked like he was on the news. <laughs> A few minutes later, a little longer than a few minutes later. Yo, what's good? It's Ron Cutter with CS. Stop fucking laughing. Let her be the girl. Alright, yeah, be the girl. Because y'all look so special. She looks so glad. My girl got down to the group. Um, <laughs> that was extra. Um, Tiana's a close, close friend. You might call me, you know, some in the streets they call me a brother. You know what I'm saying? Definitely my brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know the vibes. Uh, I sing and uh, go stream his new project. It's on Apple Music. Shad P is one word. Yeah. Shad P is one word. Um, and he has a visual on red. He has another one on the way. So stay tuned. Two. Girl, just tell me what to do. Cause I can't stop sweating over you The way you make me feel shit is so brand new Facts, I am Rod Cranable and I manage all the dope people in Queens Facts I manage, <laughs> I manage Sean P and I manage Ella Esco You already know what's going on And that's it <laughs> didn't have fun, we didn't eat good They could all the sure test you know, I can actually cook sure <laughs> But um, I'm just gonna let them tell how they met me because it's pretty interesting like we all kind of met around college time but these are some of like the closest people to me um and it's we got like almost like 10 years in so i'm gonna just let them introduce That's how fact. they oh met me crazy. yeah we're right. getting old 10 years crazy. yeah almost like legit almost 10 years so good Alright, yo, I've been on her since high school. On her. Senior, That's senior, my husband. You know the vibes. Um, you know what I'm saying? Ike and Tina. I'm a. I mean, Ike and Tina. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she is a family member of my best friend, and I definitely was on her back then. So on her now. And. Oh, so I met her one night at Hofstra. It was actually my first night pulling up. Oh, um, well, started pulling up like on the regular, but yeah, it's my first night at Hofstra. I met uh, a couple other friends. Um, I wasn't cool with nobody at that time, and we hung out. We met some like racist white people, that was cool. And on the first night, yeah, first night, Hofstra. And then, I yeah, I used to just always pull up to Hofstra and she would show me a good time, and we hang out. That was lit, and that's how it and then she started it. rapping. Mm. And then I was like, yo, let me manage you. And she was like, sure. Mm. And here we are now. Tell great stories, bro. Great stories, oh, man. Love stories. That was a Amazing. Mm -hmm. You guys are great, too. Thanks. <laughs> I'm tea. How did I meet T? All right, yo. My memory not good, bro. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah. T has been my mans for, like, early in my hofstra. Like, you know, long time about the Um. Early in my Hofstra career, when we go to school, 
Don't tell the people. <laughs> Alright. Back to you, boy. Um. <laughs> fuck it. Gangsta. Alright, now tell that story. Well, your hair is done. Yeah, your hair is done. Tell that story. It looks cute. Your hair is done. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were going to tell a real hood story. My bad. It's a hell of a we gotta go for it. Well, All right, boom. I'm gonna tell what I know. Apparently, the word of the street is I was the liquor man on the block. Definitely was. And, um. We're not gonna tell you what kind of liquor we were drinking because it's really <laughs> obvious. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not Everything really is elevated. Is. It doesn't matter but, what was yeah. in the past. But, um, you know, T pulled up to my room. Uh, I'm feeling like it, you had to be there. I was there. You probably mm -hmm. came with her. Yes. Yeah. Did you come with. Did you mm -hmm. come with. See? Yeah. Yeah. I remember being with Celeste. Yeah, had to. So, um, yeah, came to the room and I was probably an asshole for, to, for like first 15 seconds because, you know, I just got to feel it out. But it probably went quick because T. You handled that? She definitely probably handled it because we here now. Huh? You handled that like you wasn't phased. Yeah, I think he was just like, I don't want to say stand up, but he was just like talking to me here and there. But he was like, oh, like, I don't know if I'm getting to know you. And I was just like, okay. And like, I, I, it was just like, yeah. I, I was out. Uh, it's like, oh, it's my third day out here. I don't know. I feel like I already knew you. I don't know. You had an accent. Okay. Hold on. No. I, 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 easy, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was good, though. Yeah, I feel like I already knew you, though. Oh, so it was, it was nothing. Yeah, because we used to talk on the phone and stuff. Yeah, so. I'm scared. But it's just like that way back. I feel like I got the best story out of everybody here. Oh, so, oh, go ahead. Oh, go. I remember distinctly how I met Tiana. Okay. I was in the student center, right? And we were all sitting around and I think I was with, can I say names on here? It's okay. I was with Alicia and then Celeste walked up with you and she's like, hey, this is my new friend Tiana. <laughs> And then you That's just like, nice. hey, you all smiley and like all nice or whatever. So then we kicked it in the student center. And then later that day, you had some issues and you was about to fight a girl. <laughs> Not saying no name. Yeah, no. And then I was just like, shit, what's up? Like, <laughs> let's do it. I met her, they met her. And we've been tight ever since. Man, that. Man, that man, that man. Man. Yeah. Like, Did y'all fight the girl though? But not fact that you're Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> shit! Okay, alright. Yeah. But you was with her on the first day. Oh, I didn't know that. You was with her. She said, I've got shit else to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's lucky with game? You know? And Alicia was just looking at me like, Oh, <laughs> nah, 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 yeah, yeah, we, we can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm, so, here's why I step in. Like, these people are really important to me, and, like, during those times in my life, I was kind of figuring a lot out and I was finding out like the kind of people I wanted to be around. And so these other people that I ended up with and I stayed with Boom. and as I'm starting, I'll get more into like my music journey this year um, and like my whole purpose of starting YouTube. But these same people have been a part of my music journey as well. Why are you not? <laughs> Hi, Brianna. She paying me to me? No. She she's giving looking me that. Right? <laughs> That's what she's doing. Hi, Brian. She's like, girl, what? I said I'm on YouTube, but I'll let you later. All right. Right. She didn't hear shit you said. That's definitely making it, though. I'm on YouTube, but I'll let you later. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Okay, so, yeah, these people are, like, essential to me starting my music journey. And, um, yeah, so I just want a job to see them and know them because they will be around more. So we're just going to do, like, a quick funny story time, but we're going to think of it right now. Like, it's not even planned out because we have a lot of crazy stories. So, um, hmm. <laughs> we can talk about the day that me and Rashad got written up. Oh, oh boy. boy. Avina is also included in that story. So, we gonna talk about that because it's hilarious. But we definitely, we could have got kicked out of college. Like, we could have got kicked out of our dorms for my friend. And it was her fucking fault. I had shit but to we, do it. We gonna talk about it. So, I, I can pop it. off the story because it kind of started with me. <laughs> Alright, so boom. So, this, I lived like, they were already on campus. And I was like a transfer student. So I stayed in dorms that was like all the way in the back of the campus. 
and so I had to like walk kind of far to get to them so I had one friend I'm not gonna say her name yet because I'm gonna let her come tell her side because she's on the um like she got to take the stand with this one <laughs> but I was always talking to her and like I said like in my other story time and so we talked about going to Rashad's room because by this time me and Rashad were cool and like he was the liquor guy we would always get lit in his room we would have fun I mean not liquor Libations. Libations. You don't know what that is. Mm -mm. No. But yeah, we will always be in this room and we will have a lot of fun. And so, um, me and uh, me and Abina were like just building a bond. Like I remember we had a conversation like where she really if you don't know me, you probably won't know much about me, but me and her like sat together and we really like bonded and we was like, Okay, we're actually really cool. Like I like her. And she seemed like the, I don't want to say a friend that I could grow with at that moment. That's real shit. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's how it was at the time. So. That was so dramatic. But, so we ended up getting like really close, but it was like new. So it was like, okay, now I'm comfortable hanging around her, like by myself and all of that. So we started doing that. But we weren't even planning to go to Rashad's room together. It was like, we was all going to be there. So, um... I think like I decided to go to Rashad's room on my own. It was weird as that was the first day I ever did that. Cause we will always, I will always like link up with my other friend and then go to his room. So me and, and Abina get there and we talk in, we having fun. Rashad was like a really good host. Like even now you'll see like- It's my he, birthday by the way. It, it was your birthday? My 19th birthday. Yeah, okay, that's Sorry. even worse. Yeah, it was his 19th birthday and like, because he was so essential to like everybody else's turn up and everybody else's fun, Everybody should have just held it down and like made sure he had a good birthday because he he literally is like the life of the party for our campus And might I add I'm gonna let them tell their side of the story, but we went to a PWI So that's a predominantly white institution, but the black students at that school were extremely close So like we were very close knit even if you didn't directly hang out with somebody when it came to like a party or a big event or something I can say that everybody pretty much stuck together and hung out together so that was dope like because we still got like Greek life and stuff like that even though we weren't on like an HBCU campus so it was lit there was enough of us yeah they, they, like it was enough so of us and was. we definitely had fun so that was right it, <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> and so I'll let oh. Avina take over <laughs> or Rashad oh, y'all can rock paper scissors for who tells the next part yo we gotta do it okay. for you I'm, I go. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. So I'm trying to get my legs right because we got in trouble a Couple few times. times. Tell the build up story. Okay. Okay, so T missed the the beginning of the story. Sorry, I'm gonna let this go. Oh oh yeah, yeah. Let's go. I forgot they don't know my name. I forgot they don't know my name. Okay, so before that, we were in what was it called? In like this eatery place. And the girl that we were supposed to hang out with, she did not come inside for some reason. So she stood outside in the cold waiting for us. And we were just in there just having a good time. So by the time we got outside, she was pissed. She was just standing there. She was like, I, I didn't take my iron pills and y'all got me outside. So right from then, before we even got to the room, things were tense. And I just kept my mouth shut because like, you know, people ain't take their iron pills. And, that's and it's just an FYI, I'm the kind of person who like, you got one time if I ask you what's wrong and you say nothing, then you shit out of luck with me. Like I, oh baby, I'm done because yeah, I'm not gonna be chasing cool. you around asking you like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Like yeah. you good? Then you're good in my book and you better hold it down because you get smart with me. We gonna have some problems. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, things were already tense before we got to the room. So we got to the room and again, minding my business. I sit down in the corner. Yeah, I sit down in the corner in his room. Everybody's vibing, everybody's having a good time, you know, kikiing, things are flowing, you know? And I said something to, I said something to you, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it, it was something completely off topic. I think I said something right yeah, We were just like giggling because we was having fun, like we were yeah. bonding. Yeah. So it was just like a little jokey joke. Yeah. And then homegirl was like, what? What you said about me? <laughs> and I turned around, I'm like, who she talking to? Because I know it can't be me because I literally said nothing. I was just and enjoying at the time, myself. Abina was so like, believed that like she was damn near getting cursed out. 
fucking crazy. Like, she didn't do shit. And I, she was like, I mean, what? Because you're over there talking shit. <laughs> if you don't have to talk about me, though, bitch, keep my name out your mouth. Oh. Welcome to New York. Like, <laughs> I am literally having the time of my life. And it was such a good night. So, like, it's a great night. <laughs> so good. And it just things, I guess things escalated from there because you kind of stood, stood in and said something like, you know, like not in here or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I tried to be the good friend. We're going to get to that because I'm going to let Rashawn tell his part first. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I tried to like step in because I just knew that the heat was directed towards me. But she just didn't, she didn't direct it towards me because she knew that I wasn't going to have it. So she felt like she was going to take it out on the next person. And she oh. Then yeah, that happened, and then y'all stepped outside, and things escalated. I'm gonna let you tell that part because I wasn't outside with y'all. I was inside. And no, then Rashawn was having a blast because he got the paperwork. All right. <laughs> <laughs> with the paperwork. So. <laughs> Big paperwork. All right, so boom. Yo, we were here to fight that. Minding my own business. <laughs> this is my birthday. My 19th birthday. I didn't realize it was your birthday. Had niggas outside of campus on the campus. Yeah, that's it's a vibe. Did. I had niggas visiting. Uh, we in the room drinking. You what? saw me like people. sardines. Yeah. We were full time. Yeah. How was we? It would be 50 of us full time. We were skinny back then. Having that's a great time. <laughs> 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 we was this big. That's how we Man. fit. <laughs> I was never that big. What? <laughs> <But, laughs> Talk your shit. Um, <laughs> so, by the model business, hair commotion. There's a lot of commotion going on in the corner by the door. Uh, find out who. It is, it's kind of, at this point, you're out of the situation. Yeah, I'm not in it. Abina's just out of the situation. And, and let me say, the like, embarrassing part was like, there was different, like I said, all the black kids generally hung out together, but we were all, they were different cliques. Mm -hmm. And so like, for it to be us, it was like, God damn it. It was like embarrassing for us to be the girls that like, was causing the fucking problem. Nah. But everybody was getting along. Everybody turned around and it's like, Games. And it was the four of us. It wasn't. We weren't. None of us were isolated in that. It was like. It gets. Mm -hmm. It gets more embarrassing. All right. So. <laughs> At this point, I think we come to terms where I'm like, y'all gotta go outside. <laughs> Cause I told her to go outside. <laughs> it's time. Y'all go outside. Arguing outside the front door. <laughs> they went outside already. Niggas went outside in oh, front of the. Oh, not on the table. Oh, it's already motor shot. Go outside, but they're outside the front door, so <laughs> it just moved over. And this is the fat nigga R.A. This is, sorry, I'm fat. I can't really say that. <laughs> this is like the big annoying R.A. This guy. You know the fuck you are. <laughs> fat bitch. Fat bitch. <laughs> What's good? Jokey joke. Nah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jokey joke. Uh, no, 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 no. So, we love fat people. So, Black Twitter goes. No, really, <laughs> niggas love fat people. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we hear him coming. He's at the door. I think y'all do y'all tell us that he's coming. No. Oh, we hear y'all. So I, I saw I saw him coming, and I knocked. I like knocked. I made a knock on the door, like with the cup. I tried to say like put the cups up the best way I could. Oh, all right. So boom, she knocks on the business heads up, right? We clean up everything. You can't find liquor nowhere. You can't find nothing. You can't. There's no paraphernalia no, nowhere. We're just having. Fun. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. You calm down! Fun. There's a lot of niggas in the room. We have fun. There's one red cup. Bad. There was one fucking red cup, and this nigga wrote me up. This is why I called him. This is why I attacked him. I attacked him. You wrote you up for one red cup? That could be anything. That could be anything. Yeah. That could be anything, bro. You wrote me up for one red cup. Um, red cups from the streets. Never again, but I got that dismissed. Okay, so mine. So when I went outside, I I took my friend outside not because I wanted to argue, but I just took her outside. Kind of like, <laughs> why well, you took your friend outside? <laughs> no, I really didn't want to. I was in such a good mood. Like the crazy thing is like I'm a drink heavy too. <laughs> the crazy thing is like I'm not the argument type. Like either we have a problem or we don't. But mm. the kind of person I am, I would never like. As rowdy as I am, I never had that energy for my friends because I feel like that's not. <laughs> I've been watching them all day. <laughs> They're always getting glued to the wall. Let's get back. All right. So 
Yeah, like, I'm not a person that, like, is really into arguing. So, like, me trying to argue with somebody is really, like, I actually like you. Because you, you, you fucking with me right now. Mm. So, I took her outside, and I was just, like, I wasn't even arguing. I'm, like, bro, you're wilding right now. Like, you, you're really doing a lot. Like, you're doing a lot. We in a good mood. And whatever you mad at is ridiculous. And she started talking about how her iron was low. And I'm, like, ah! That's why she was acting like the iron. No, she was like, my iron is low and I take iron pills and you, you, um, you knew. And and I'm like, shorty, I'm not even doing this right now. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not doing this with you right now. You need to like fix your attitude and like, let's pack it up. And it's funny because my friend likes girls now, but she used to interact with me like, like her man like looking back it's kind of like that's how she interacted with me but i was very annoyed and it's like as soon as i was about to tell her like you know what i'm not fucking dealing with your attitude today the ra just came walking through the hallway and he was like what are you guys doing and he looked like you know the the guy from um i'm gonna insert the clip from spongebob the guy with the pickles under his tongue that's how he looked and that was like his whole demeanor like just 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 Dweeb. Yeah, a dweeb. Yeah, something better. And you know who the fuck you are. Yeah, you fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you got to the fuck you. Fuck you. So he gave me no ticket. <laughs> so he came. He came through and he was like, "So what's the problem?" Um, and I was like, "Nothing. We're just having a conversation." My friend was like a little upset, and he was like, "Oh, so what's in your cup?" And my cup was actually empty because I. I was having fun, so I didn't even have anything inside the cup. And I really only stepped outside to cool my friend down because it was emba- I was embarrassed. And I just wanted to, like, cool her off real quick so we weren't, like, those girls inside. So, yeah. So, I was just trying to take her outside real quick. And then he wrote my ass up because I had a cup. And it could have been alcohol. And throughout the whole semester, like, I had to fight that. And I forgot, like, it ended up... Coming down to like, um, I forgot what they said, but like I was on some kind of probation, but like I had to get good grades. But I, I I'm very smart, mm. so mm. I already had good grades. Again. So Tell I was, again. I rap, but you know, I could have been, I, I could have did it, whatever I felt like doing. Okay, but yeah, I ended up having to like actually fight that throughout the whole semester, like having um hearings and meetings and um. I think like eventually it got dismissed, but I was on some kind of, some kind of probation. But I had good grades, so it kind of like blew over. But yeah, like that was a real thing I had to fight, and I was so pissed off with my friends, with, with my friend because like she caused that whole thing just bugging the fuck out, which you was wild in that misdirected day. energy. And I love her. Like, hey girl, love you. Hey mom. Now you know what time did you see this? She hold it down. Oh, she did it. Nah, it's the oil. We love you. Uh, okay. love oh, yes. I forgot the new name of her business, but I'm going to insert it right here. Nah, we wait so you can support her oil. Too. Yeah, no, she watches. Oh, right. So she knows the other story. Like, she knows who she is. I mean, fine. we can't, fine. We can't hide that fact. We've all... Hey, girl, I love oh. you. Yeah, support her business. I'm going to insert it right nah, here. Bing, again. My shit got dismissed in like a week because I went right to the, the big RA nigga. And I said, See, mine got lost this because dumb. I have I had switched dorm. <laughs> Bug it. So my shit got lost. And so by the time they got it, it was like already like in the last step. So I fought it in like the last steps because I had moved into um, Estabrook. Well, see, I ain't never been that mad. Like, oh, no, no, no. I wanted to so kill, I wanted to <laughs> kill her time. after that. This is not the first time I met them. Oh. I was just so mad at them, man. Like, niggas, is, that niggas had to go to Hoppy USA. We just mad if I was at Hoppy USA. I was so at the table. Off. I'm like, no reason you could be in trouble. Mm. For nothing. But we here now, you feel me? Niggas are trying yeah, to and we're all shit. still close. And we're gonna we gonna have her coming to her side too. Fact. Yeah, oh no no no. She has two stories to tell. And you'll figure out which one she is. Yeah, with the stank face, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting some notifications, but we're gonna do another video. Um I'm gonna let my phone charge. But we're gonna do another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one because we have a lot of like ridiculous ass kind of stories, but we love you guys. Bye.